What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to The Banishers, Ghosts of a New Eden. Now, my PlayStation did turn off between episodes, so I'm hoping that this is where we left off. So let's find out. Inspect. Why would hungry wolves leave fresh meat uneaten? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because these aren't normal wolves. Ooh, tracks. Those claw marks are smaller than the ones we saw earlier. I'm still pretty convinced that this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but uh, suddenly much smaller. Those do not look like dog paws. The tracks start with the expedition and grow in size as they progress. The surrounding trees have been drawn in by a powerful force. The beast drawn made in? itself from the specters of the dead settlers. Here's where it happened. Yeah, so, so okay, I'll read that in a there second. more than a few settlers. This scourge is going to be huge. Oh, boy. Uh, those poor people. Those poor people. Dying so helpless. And so angry. So angry. Okay, so just to recap for anybody just joining, last episode, um, this woman sent us out here. She gave us this little whistle thingy and said to use it if we need help. She sent us out here to investigate a beast that's been uh, kind of tormenting the the little camp that these people have made for themselves and since we've been out here we've kind of determined that this woman sent this group of people that were lost and we now know that they were murdered she sent them out here intentionally to their deaths she gave them this little whistle and we know now that the whistle was attracting the wolves so when they were lost and they needed help they used the whistle thinking that the other group would come back and help them, but instead it called the wolves to them and they were all mauled by the wolves. It's one of those little dog whistles, you know, that makes dogs go wild. So let's go to the cases. Thick skin. So the strong might live. Thick skin sent the weaker settlers to their deaths. Uh, what do we know about the beast? The beast is made of specters of lost settlers. And it's a vengeful scourge. And it's apparently gonna be huge. That's gonna be interesting to fight. Especially when I don't think all of my health potions are full at the moment. So let's see what happens. And I'm a little bit on the fence here. Um, you know, at the end of these cases, we always have the option to banish the evil spirit uh, ascend, or I, I call it evil, banish the spirit, ascend the spirit, or blame the living soul, which would kill them, I think, and send them directly to their death. And then, would this make a shortcut? Nope. We're just gonna jump. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm sort of, I'm thinking... I'm not sure that I like- Are you ready for the ritual? No. no. Well, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I'm considering, I'm considering blaming or banishing the woman thick skin because, wait, what do I do? Ritual, we've got the whistle. Is the whistle the, the, what do you call it? The tie that binds Echo. Summon Scourge. Okay, I think it's actually going to be this one. Let me try it. Yeah, the music's changing. I think that worked. This is making me nervous. It's all foggy. All right. Drop the herbs in. Now let's see how are we gonna fight this thing. Our, uh, we don't want to skip. Oh, we're gonna call it with a whistle, of course. Maybe a pack of wolves too, but. I do have a gun now. 
That might be useful. So they're obviously directing their anger toward thick skin. Come out, whatever you are. Or anybody at this point. Show yourself. Right. What is it? It's behind me, isn't it? And it's huge. Yes. She looks worried for me. Of course it is. Every bloody time. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's like a tree wolf beast. It's like made of branches. You are surely too big to be a wolf. It's a scourge, all right. Anger shaped to kill. We wish you no harm. We know all about the wolf whistles. Uh oh. The whistle stick skin gave you. Eek! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, that was the torch. Okay. What do I do? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Okay, first we've got to kind of learn its movements. So there's that. Um, let me try if I see if I can reload here. Nice, nice. My goodness. So I can just hit it. Aim for the stains. Aim for the stains. What does that mean? The stains? Let me switch to Antea. Does she see stains? Oh, um, nope. I don't know. Can't say that I know. Ooh. Its head, to me, looks like the weak point. I feel like Antea is just doing, like, very minimal damage here. Should I heal or should I wait? I don't know. He's coming in for a. Uh... Not too quick on your feet, are you? Okay, let me see if it'll turn. Here we go. Is the gun doing uh, more damage than really anything else at this point? Let me, let me. <gasps> no. Okay, heal it up, Red. I don't want to. I don't want to take any risks. This thing is huge. Okay, 15, 15. Mm. Get him in the butt. Focus on the stains. All right. He's just facing the wrong way, you know. Can I join in too? No. Yeah. All right. I see. Yeah, it's taking like two points of damage, and except for when I hit it right here, it's fifteen. And let me try the rifle again, because I think the rifle seemed to do thirty. Okay. See, that's. That's pretty sweet. Let's switch to Antea and focus on the stones. Ooh. Oh, I have a I have a banish that I should use with red. See, she's doing 12. Yeah, I mean. Oh my gosh. You call Antea? What I would What the heck? Let me go! So oh, scary. Let's do a banish. You'll get it next what? You'll get it next time. I'm pretty sure I got him. Let me heal. And let's reload, because the gun actually does seem to be pretty useful here. Ooh, what's this? What do I do? What do I do? Antea? Maybe? Uh, I'm, oh, X. X, X, X. I'm trying to see, is the weak spot still its face? I think it's this this arm. Now. Rotten hell, thick skin. Get out of there, Red. Get out of there. Eek. Not too quick on your feet, are you? Oh, and then we've got all these little wolves. One less to worry about. Okay. Do we really want to use this on that? I don't know, but it's we've got unlimited ammo, so you know it's kind of like. All right, let's try to get a banish on him. Oh, I'll get out of there. Let's wait for him to turn. 
Okay, the two swat. And yeah, I think we kind of want to aim for this arm now. That's where the weak spot is. Shoot, that was close. He hit me a little bit there. Holy moly. Gosh darn it. Should we switch to Antea for a minute? She just doesn't do as much damage. Oof. But I feel less less worried about taking hits with her than I do with Red. Because when she runs out of health or whatever, it's like we just switch back to Red. Move out of the way! Okay, back to Red. We've almost got the Banish bar filled. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Okay, give me a Banish. What did he say? Sound like he said, I'm not strong enough. Oh, nice. Okay. Vanish. Now where's the weak spot gonna be? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's the back leg. Wait, 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 wait. For did for you did forsake me, Kate. Now that's thick skin sister. Okay, I took a hit there. Angry wisps. Don't underestimate me. Uh, an angry wisp, eh? Oh, those. These. Oh, and Taya. Let's take these out first. I think, yeah, he's on the move there. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> The beast. Whoa. Come on, Red. Oh, we can do a banish. Yeah, he said not strong enough. I don't know what that means. The back leg's a bit tough to target because he keeps wanting to spin. Oh, gosh. But that's all right, I guess. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty sweet. Whoa! I don't know. I guess we could try. Nope. If I could get over to its side before it turns. Oh, now he's doing more more hits. Was that a hit? I think it was. Whoa! What's going on? Now. Get, 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 get. Oh, it's a bunch of these. Oh my goodness. Let's go try and do it. So that was my last healing potion here. Let's try and do a banish. Almost there. Almost there. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Reload again, Red. Shoot him in the butt. And his bony behind. I almost wonder if these aren't better to to use Antea for. Here, let's um let's switch to Antea. Oh shoot. Took some damage there. Come on. So close. Oh no. Oh, I got a trophy. Teamwork. Okay, there's like two more hits on this guy. That's it. Banish. No more beast. Do it. Oh my gosh. Is it trying to take me with it? Oh! All the spirits are leaving it. Wow. Or is it eating them? There it goes. 
I've said it before, this game kind of gives me Hellblade, Sinewa's Sacrifice vibes. This beast definitely reminded me of the big beast that we fight. Not Vexkin. Kate. It spoke her name with just one voice. Her voice. The voice of the nightmare. Oh, what does that mean? To the core of me. Within this creature lurks some part of my killer. Thickskin and Kate both accused. Is anyone in these damn woods innocent? Then it were real. This beast. I'm confused. How did I miss you on my travels through the woods? Because it did not want you. It wants your sister. Stay, Scotchman. I can use you. You gave them dog whistles. You sent them to die. Those with metal would have reached camp, and I'd have used them too. Those who died won't need feeding. The weak die that the strong may live. You tricked them. I tested them. This be the way of it. This be the way of the world. Is that Kate? We have a hidden watcher. The sister. Yeah. I'm just so confused which one of these two is to blame here. Kate? Show yourself. Let's see how this plays out, because at this point I'm not sure how to resolve this. What? You're unarmed! Get yourself back to camp! All these long years. All these long years, I wish to be like you. To be as tough as you. If I was stalwart like my sister, I thought. I'd have saved her. I'd have saved the woman I love. I wish to be like you. And I see it now. I was just like you. Cold, selfish, afeard of my own heart. And the woman I love died for it. So many dead. You killed them, as I killed Deborah. Look at us, we have no metal at all. Everything I did, I did so that you could live. You're my sister. I love you. Would you love me if I was weak? Or would you leave me too, to the wolves? How dare you even think it? Oh. oh gosh, I forgot about her wooden fingers. I dare, because I care. Enough! I've done your hot work. I banished the monster you swore didn't exist, and now I know the truth. I know what you did. I made the hard choice. Do you think it pleased me? Do you think it were easy? In malice, you sent them to die? For convenience, you abandoned them. I'm really not sure which it was. Let me check her thing. So the strong might live. Thick skin sent the weaker ones. Yeah. Was it in malice? Out of convenience? I think it was really convenience. I don't know. Let's say this. Would saving them have been so much harder? You abandoned them because it was the easy thing to do. Easy? Look about you. Nothing here is easy, not even for the strong. The weak have no chance at all. No, it's best they die quick that the rest may live. Them wolves did us all a service. Better some dead by fang than all dead by famine. That makes a grim kind of sense. 
I guess. Um, thick skin, what will you do now? Kate, do you trust your sister? The beast named Kate, it's betrayer. I want to see what this says. The beast spoke with many voices. One we, I, had heard before. The voice from the chapel. And Taya's killer. It charged you, Kate, with betrayal. What? I don't... This thing can have naught to do with me. I betrayed no one. I knew not of my sister's plan. Else I'd have stopped it. She's telling the truth, but so was the beast. It named her for a reason. Confess and set yourself free. I found your journal. Ooh. But the journal didn't really have anything in there that was, like, terrible, did it? Confess and set yourself free. Let's say this. Secrets keep us chained. Have courage. Free yourself. Leave her be. She has naught to say to you. Like us all, I'd have much to say. But the time to speak was long ago. She fears to look in her own heart. She fears what she might find. You're both guilty. Perhaps you did the best you could. I think they're both guilty. Look about you. You brought this curse upon yourselves. Falls to me to lift it. Maybe they're not ready. Broken hearts need time to heal. If ever they heal. Mumble all you want, I regret nothing. The curse struck, and I alone saw the danger. I acted. And now it is I who must act. Oh boy. Ah. So it's, it's come down to thick skin. So do we... You'll spare the current community pillar and leave them in charge. This will cont contribute to Antea's ascent. How so? Spare? Spare the com cu current community leader and leave them in charge, or you'll sacrifice the current community leader with a blame ritual. This will contribute to Antea's resurrection. Oh, I see. I was confused. I read ascent, but I thought resurrection. Ooh. Is she just doing what's right by her people? I don't know. I, I kind of don't like thick skin. She sent these people out. She didn't, she, like he said, she tricked them to go out and get themselves killed without even a fighting chance so that they wouldn't have to feed them later. And on top of that, she said that when she said, what if I had been too weak? Would you have let me be eaten by the wolves too? And she said... Of course not, I'm your sister or something like that. And it's kind of like, so she thinks she gets to pick and choose who lives and dies. So I think we're gonna go for it and we're gonna do a sacrifice here. Let's do it. You ruthlessly sacrifice the innocent to ensure your own survival. Or oh, can't I let you away with it? To heal, Kate must be free of her sister's grip. Uh oh, she's getting scared now. I don't think Red enjoys you this. You want to kill me? Then you're just like me, only more foolish. You mean to kill her? I mean to save her. A malignant spirit lives in thick skin, you smith. And I will banish it. I've no evil spirit. I've done nothing wrong. Ooh. She can't even see Antea. Demon. Sprite. Evil spirit. Oh, look at her. I banish you. Great tormentor. I banish you. Oh, my goodness. Can While her sister cry? watches, too. I don't know, I do feel a little bad. Death to the dead. Oh my gosh. Took her soul. Wow, I don't know. Was that harsh? 
mean, she was pretty... My name was Rose. Rose? A flower. I became the pitiless thorn. But I did not make the world. It made me. Oh, and then is Antea gonna eat it? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's almost real. Red. Look. Is that... Deborah! Could that be the nightmare? God spare me, no. Please, no. I mean, no. I think it's got the same hair. What the heck was that about? Well, somehow De or Kate is tied to the nightmare. Could that have been the nightmare? The curse has lifted. Here, at least. The nightmare before it became the nightmare. Oh. I don't. I don't really know. Oh, look, we got a Samhain right. whistle. And you? Are you all right? It's a while now since I've been all right. The heart of the beast. Hold on, let's check this out. Beast is a scourge made of the specters of the settlers, sacrificed by thick skin and led by the spirit of Kate Newsmith's dead lover. Oh. I see. Rory, thank you. Thank me later. Okay, I don't know. I mean, that seems a little bit harsh, I guess. Um, sacrificing her sister right in front of her. But neither one of them were particularly, like... Well, especially her, you know. And I get that you gotta make hard decisions as a leader, especially in, like, circumstances like this. But I don't think that you really get to choose who lives and dies, you know? Um... And especially not if you're, like, if her sister had been weak, she could just, like, she just gets to say that, oh, I don't care, she still gets to make the cut because she's my sister? I don't know, you know? So, Look at that. I don't think I regret banishing her. It's beautiful. No. Look at it. Ooh. Is there gonna be like a bunch of ghosts? <gasps> Whoa. Reach New Eden Town. Quest completed. But what Into does this mean? We go. That's um that's where it is right there, in that church looking building. Quest started old acquaintances. And it's like sucking, well, I don't know, it's either creating this force field. Yeah, I guess it's maybe creating the force field. Level 10, and we got a skill point. So, I don't know, maybe we should take a look at our skill points and stuff here real quick. The question is, which way do I go? I guess we go down this way. The music's kind of cool all of a sudden, though. It feels like we're on a little journey. But let's take a look at the inventory. Um, my outfit I might be able to upgrade. Let's take a look. Common. Upgrade. Locked. Sulfur polypore. And so I can't do anything there. What about these? Second wind. Vitality. Vitality and wisdom. Hmm. Defeating an enemy. Which one do I have equipped? I have this. 
Do the fourth light attack and the heavy attack damage is increased by 50%. Defeating an enemy with melee attacks restores 7% health points. But wisdom, what does wisdom do? I don't know, should we switch for a little bit? And let's see if we can upgrade. Nope. And then the rifle, this is new. Can't upgrade. Equipment, oh, because I'm not at a shelter. So you know what, it's pointless to even look at this stuff right now. Let's just carry on. The scourge troubles me. It's gone. The curse is lifted. The curse remains. The beast was born of it. A scourge made in equal measure from the treachery of the New Smith sisters. Worse, though shaped by Thick Skin's betrayal, it was driven by Kate's. Remember what Charles said? Part of the story is still missing. I feel like the greatest part of the story is still missing. The New Smiths alone did not create the nightmare. Others in New Eden have treacheries to hide. I wonder what they did to earn such hate. So, okay, so the Deborah woman, the Deborah ghost, I don't think is the nightmare per se, but I don't know. It did look a lot like her, that's for sure. But it could be that maybe her ghost, some, no, I don't know. I don't think so. Never mind. I was trying to think like, well, I don't know. Maybe could her ghost be alive in like two different places at the same time? But that seems complicated. So, I guess we're back to... Um trying to get back to New Eden Town and maybe we'll learn more about how to um, deal with the nightmare and it seems like it's going to be probably like we need to tackle maybe to weaken it or something you need to tackle uh, more of these cases the more cases that you tackle maybe the weaker it gets I don't know you know We'll see, I guess. We don't we don't really know much about it yet. Get the loot and stuff as we go through here. There's Antea. Promises unkept. Covenants broken. The curse has its roots in betrayal. Treachery that led perhaps to grief. Forsaken love hurts everyone. I will keep my word. To forsake your love hurts everyone. Kate is proof of that. Oh, mossy it's polypore. Rare. It's so simple. Thick skin is proof of that. We're in a new location and we're already seeing new items. And this is a different way. Let me go this way first. So some of those upgrades that weren't available to us because we didn't have certain items are soon going to be... Inky Cap Coprin. I feel like that's new. So these things are going to be available to us now. Now let me switch to Antea because we've got this hand glow. What do I do here? That might be an ability that we don't have yet. Because I definitely can't break it, but I think it is breakable. Maybe with an ability. I wish they'd give me a spot to rest so I could do some upgrades and stuff to my gear. Oh, here's a person. What is this? No, we're still a ways away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's not a person. That's a scary thing. Ooh. Wait. Let me get a banish. Ah, uh, I tried to block. I didn't get it. Move? What do you mean? The shoot. No, sometimes I just want to use red, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. I, oh, I do have healing potions here. Nice. There we go. Oh, there's a skelly. Still got a skelly here. More? Can I banish? 
There we go. Look out! Whoa, whoa! What is it? Oh, I see. Okay, so we need some some of that. Bog iron. That's new too. Okay, these things are breakable. I don't know why, but those are also breakable. Oh, um. That looks like a rest location. Maybe if we go through here. No way through here. Oh. Hmm. Usually the yellow stuff you can break. Okay, so let me check the map real quick because it's giving me kind of two options. We've got this, the old acquaintances, but there was also, it almost seemed like it was telling me I could go follow another thing another way. Wow, look at, we've traveled a long distance. And where's New Eden Town? I don't know, actually. What's this? Mushrooms. Uh, let me try Antea. Oh, oh, oh. How come it's... glowing like that? What about... What's that? Let me see if I can shoot this. A soul the shard. Wasps, did they come back to bite? I almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are spirit snares doing out here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden grins with demonologist craft. Okay, rest at a shelter. I think this is our our shelter right here. Wow, look at the size of these birds. Now I think those have got to be ravens. Ravens are big, right? I'll get off, Crows. Oh, I he called them crows. Animals. Crows don't count. <laughs> Can't go up there. Oh, let's shoot this. There we go. Any loot for us? And this will probably make a shortcut. So I won't go down, I'll just put the rope on. Okay, and then this should be our shelter right here. Or... Yeah, here we go. Oh, but what's upstairs? Hmm, I'm not sure what the point of that was. Maybe it unlocked something downstairs. Guards log. Enemy scouts spotted south multiple assaults throughout the day. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hmm. I'm mostly just looking for loot and stuff. Nothing else up here, I guess. Let's go down. October 30th. Diane, I'm in the doghouse. Ironside caught me sleeping, and although there was no danger, I am now punished. We cannot bury the dead for fear of a new attack. I can see them as I write, lying where they fell, like sleeping wraiths drifting in the mist. All's quiet, and I am afeard. For a moment, laugh not. I swore I saw a corpse stand up and walk. I'm so very weary. My nerves are gone, and coming here was the greatest mistake I ever made. I wait relief for my watch, but no man comes to take my place. I dare not call down to the fort for fear of who might hear me. Arthur. Sounds like they got ambushed or something. And they had to leave their dead, which maybe caused ghosts. Ooh, lots of stuff. There's quite a lot of loot in this place. Shall we go down? Now I guess we could go in the door. 
Find a way to unlock the door. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Well, what the heck? I didn't realize that there was a puzzle to it. So there is definitely a bar across the door there. So let's see, what can we figure out? I can't drop it down there. I guess, let me drop down here. And then... Ooh, what's that? That's probably the rest location. Can I see? I can see. Maybe I can shoot it. Ah, there we go. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Mossy watchtower. To rest? Uh, yeah. Are you insinuating I am in some way a mere human? If you are, you'd be right. <laughs> Just a mere human. What is this? Marshal disciplinary assignment soldier Arthur Ashtone for neglecting his military duty and placing his brothers in arms in grave peril during their sleep. All his leave is suspended and his guard duty extended to three days by Colonel James Ironside. Okay, let's take a rest and um, we'll do upgrades and stuff. We also have skill points that I need to look at too. Um, rest. You're thinking. So are you. Penny for your thoughts. I was thinking of Kate, of her horror when she saw the ghost, of her pain when she lost her sister. She was desolate and yet relieved and terrified. I can't shake the picture. Kate had courage, courage once. Thick skin was in pain. I thought it said was a pain. <laughs> um, Kate had courage once. She did? I don't know. Thick skin was in pain. But I really don't think either of these feel true to me. But I suppose maybe thick skin was in pain. Whoever Deborah was, Kate loved her. Thick skin tried to protect her sister from the consequences. When I laid the blame on thick skin, I felt her pain. I felt it too. A potent mix. Fear, love, resentment, unconditional acceptance. Sisterhood can be complicated. Not big on family. Sisters can be a handful. Uh, let's do the top one. You're not big on family, are you? A family weaves its bonds in trust. If the trust is broken, the bonds wither. Sounds like someone got hurt. When I was very young, I had a friend. She was my chosen sister and very dear to me. I opened my heart. It was a mistake. I played with fire and was burned. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I have a new family now. I have found the love of my life. Show me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, gosh, what do we do? We be funny or do we be serious? Um, I guess let me do this one. Did you? Show me the bastard. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Rest now. I have the watch. I'll sit by your bedside until I must go. Okay. So these are... Yeah, these are our skill points and stuff. So I've got one blue, three red. Banishing deals 50% increased damage the higher the enemy health points gauge. That's useful. Defe defeating an enemy with a rifle reduces the next damage taken by 90%. Wow. Shooting the rifle while the banished gauge is full increases the rifle damage by 300%, but reduces... Oh, consumes all banished points? No! Um... 
Hitting an enemy with Antea reloads the rifle. Ooh. That's kind of convenient. Hmm. Alright, give me that. Then... Switch to Antea right after hitting an enemy with the rifle. Stock attack to trigger a punch. Defeating an enemy with red restores 10 health points. Defeating an enemy with Antea restores 10 spirit points. I like that. I still have one more. Banishing, or two more. Banishing an enemy restores... Wait, did that take this one off? See, I feel like maybe I don't fully understand these. Hmm. Let me switch. Leap. Spirit stash. I didn't mean to do that. Defeating an enemy will punch with punch attacks the banish gauge by 20%. Actually, that's kind of useful. I, I guess I'm trying to figure out how to use these because they still seem a little bit confusing to me. Like these, I guess you can just pick and choose, but but if I let me see. See, okay, let's just see. So I've got this one on, and if I was to just click... Well, that turns that on. Or I can turn it off. Or, I guess maybe you just get to pick between... See, I can't have both of these on, so I guess you get to pick and choose. Which makes sense, I guess. Leap damage is increased by 150% against full health enemies. Damage dealt by Antea increased by 25%, but damage taken by Antea... No, 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 no. I don't know. I guess maybe I might consider playing with these a little bit more and maybe reading into them a little bit more um, in my off time. Okay, well, those are done. How about upgrades, though? Hello? It's surprising to me that they've spent so much time together, but it seems like they don't know that much about each other. Here we go. Um, inventory. Now we can check out some upgrades. Yeah, definitely upgrade that. Rare. Insufficient resources. We need sulfur polypore. Okay, what about these? Upgrade. We have plenty of all that stuff, so yeah, do it. And you know what? We can do it twice. Probably because I should have been doing it before. Wait, wait, wait. This one says it's... Vitality 46. Whoa. I wonder if I should have kept this on instead of using this. So this is just Red's set, but this is something new that we picked up. Otherwise, the stats are the same, except this one... No, I want to keep this, I think. Don't I? Why is it... Insufficient resources. Okay. Um, let's go for the rifle. Definitely upgrade. Can I do it twice? I can. Okay, but that's it. And then we've got these. A brooch. And a wristband, which, I don't know, we did get something extra here. So, wrath, persistence, persistence. Dodging with Antea increases the damage of the next punch by 30%. Each enemy hit by punch increases the damage of punch by 15%. It can be accumulated. We currently have this one on. But... Neither have been upgraded yet. This one's got Wrath. And I really don't even know. Both are a punch damage of 10. Like, what even does Wrath and Persistence do? Let's just upgrade this one. And the amulet. I think we got a new one of these two. Or no, I guess not. 
We're just upgrading. Oh, we can't do this one. What about these? Oh, new equipment here. We got... Banish damage... 220 as compared to 200. Banish points gain. So a little bit better. These are vitality and stuff goes down. But... I don't know. Should I change to this one for a little while? Upgrade it twice. And then what about these? Ah, translucent fiber. What the heck? Okay, so I think that's it then. Rest set of shelter done. Right? Come here. Oh. I want to try something. Hmm. Good morning to you, too. <laughs> what are we trying? Rope burn! I love a good rope burn in the morning. I think we can break this down together. Ah, sure. okay. We're going... Grab my pickaxe. Just trust me. Just... We're going to learn a new ability here. Press or hold R2 to destroy physical objects and free passages. R2. Oh my gosh. Did you feel the way I tore the veil? <laughs> I, I did. She was really proud of that. And we did it together. What did I do? You brought me focus. That's plenty. Can you do it again? Oh, I intend to. It almost seems like these guys would be kind of the perfect, I mean, besides, you know, being dead and being in love. One of them being dead and then both being in love. Um, kind of seems like them being like this, like one alive and one dead, is kind of the perfect combination. Obviously, she can't just stay like this forever because... Um, she needs, like, souls or, or whatever to, um... to stay as she is, and that's just really not feasible. Doing that. Yeah, that is really cool. We got some pieces of eight. I don't see anything else to loot in here. So it looks like we're going to be headed back to New Eden Town, which is a little scary um, because what are we going to run into when we get there? I think that that ghost is still going to be there. Probably still... Uh, I'm sure it remembers me. The nightmare. And last time, there was just absolutely... I mean, they didn't even stand a chance. Not even in the slightest bit. So, yeah, I guess we'll find out what's going to happen there. And now... Will we actually get to... I mean, it's 2,000 meters away. How many? I don't really know what distance is in meters. But um, on a map, it looks something like this. Spirit unbounding. Talk to Seeker. Oh, maybe we're going to see the witch. And this is New Eden Town over here. So we do have a ways to go. Um, we've got a whole section of the map to open up here. And then whatever, we're probably going to have, like, quests and stuff that we've got to do here before we start to move on again. So, world completion is only 5%. But that's because there's so many things here that we haven't been able to do. So, I don't know how much back traveling and stuff that you would do, um, like, that the game sort of forces you to do. Or if this would just be, like, you just kind of want to go out and explore every time you get new abilities and see what new areas you can unlock um, I'll probably mostly stick to the main missions and stuff, though. There's the town. And there we are. So, well, that does it for this episode, guys. Um, next episode, we'll continue on along this path to New Eden Town or the Seeker, which it seems like that's where we're going. And we'll see, uh... Strange place for a stockade. Farm ground. Marshy approaches. My bannock bun. 1314. Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet.
Look at this. There's some kind of a wisp or something down there. Okay, guys. Well, that does it for this episode. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.